Good morning, everyone. This is Lola Riss with lolarisk.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and there I am on Facebook. I am telling you, Facebook tries, I think they truly live to um, figure out how can we mess around with her today. Okay, why is that not getting, there it is. Okay, so give me a moment. Sometimes we get the comments, sometimes we don't. Okay, so okay comments will be there now. So, I don't know about where you're at, but in where I'm at, it is a cold place. And we have to give a few minutes for this to get into everybody's uh, news feed and everything. It is really cold up here. Good morning, Doris. I shouldn't complain about it being cold because you're farther north than I am. And you probably have it worse up there, but it's cold here. Is it there? We are, um, we are dealing with uh, a cold spurt that's coming in and we have snow coming this week and it's going to be bitter cold. Yep, same here. Bitter cold. Good morning, Jana. How are you today? Thank you for that uh, message for our friend, Sarah. Um, I need to get a card in the mail. I, I heard about that, and um, that's awful. That's awful, this fire where a grandmother and her grandson died. So thank you for, I'll get the card to her. Um, anyhow, bitter cold, probably where you're at too, Jana. So we're going to do... Um, a couple of extra Chris. I needed to do a couple extra Christmas cards. I thought I had enough. I had two of those plastic boxes for scrapbooking, you know, that are about yay thick. They were absolutely packed. And I wrote and I wrote and I wrote on my cards because I don't just sign my cards. I don't just, you're not going to get a card that says Lola and Jim. It ain't going to happen. I can guarantee there's not a card in that basket over there that says Lola and Jim because I always write something else in there. And each one are usually different. So um, good morning, Claudia, nice to have you with us. Um, so anyhow, it took me hours to write cards. I did them, I started on s Friday and I worked for five hours and I finished up Saturday morning for about another almost four hours, but they're done. Except I didn't have enough, I needed two more cards. So guess what? I'm in there today throwing a Christmas card together. So here we go, turning you down. Now, if you've not seen me before, Claudia, if you've not been with us before, I am not usually, um, I, I craft on the, on the cuff. I craft as I go. But today I needed two cards and I wanted one of them done so that I could get it signed immediately and take it to the post office with everything else. So all of a sudden I have froze on my computer. Am I good, girls? I need you to tell me if we're we're good or not. Okay. How many cards did I make? Oh, I have no clue. Anne, good morning, Anne. Um, I think there's probably a hundred and fifty-five, hundred and sixty over there, because I think I, I thought I was at at half on Saturday. Well, you, you got to remember, guys. Okay, I'm good. Good, good, good. I, um, as you guys did my cards classes from July, July, August, September, October, um, you were making those Christmas cards. I was making four to eight sets extra of each of those cards. So I was making my cards as we went. I just hadn't sat down to, to fill them all out. So, um, yeah, I tried to not send you one of the cards I made, but that you might have made, but I can't guarantee that. But anyhow, this is the card I wanted to do today. And I wanted something a little different, fun fold wise, that um, I don't know. I was just thinking about it today and I thought, oh, let's try this. So this one here is a book tri panel card. Okay, and it opens up like so. Now, um, it is not a traditional card color that anybody would think of. I don't think of sea, soft sea foam as a Christmas color. But I loved this DSP that was in the Painted Christmas. This one here. I loved it. So 
I have quite a bit of this still, and I can see me using this for other things. I didn't care for that side, but I did use it a couple of times. But I loved this. I just don't think of it as a Christmas color. So we're going to work on this one today. I will also tell you that this is not a card that you want to make a lot of because it does not use your DSP, or not your DSP, but your cardstock economically. Okay, this is 11 by five and a half. So you're gonna get this narrow strip up here and you're only gonna get one card out of each piece of cardstock. Most of the time, we, you know, when we're making cards and you need gobs of cards, you wanna make it so that you get the best for your value and everything. So this takes one whole sheet, gets only one card. Only one card. So here we go. This is my card, and I love this soft seafoam ribbon. And I don't know. Anybody want to, can you check and see, is it soft seafoam ribbon out already? Because it ties beautifully. It is a beautiful tying ribbon. And I don't know if the Painted Christmas DSP is out yet. I really liked it. I liked all the reds in it. Okay, so let's get started. So again, this is a piece of soft sea foam. And I, it's 11 by five and a half. I did not automatically go with a, a score line at four and a quarter. I don't want this panel here to be four and a quarter. If it is, and this one's four and a quarter, they're gonna buckle when you go to fold it. It's gonna buckle and it's not gonna lay right. So I, instead, I took this panel and I scored it at four and one eighth. And then I scored it at eight and three eighths. So if I go this way, it would be four and one eighth and then eight and three eighths, okay? Don't worry about the measurements and things. I've already got it typed up. It's gonna be on my blog here that you can go in and record that. All right, so I'm gonna go on ahead and I'm gonna fold it. So this is the one that is one eighth of an inch smaller than the other one, okay? And this way it will lay flat and it will not buckle or it will not bubble up. Good morning, Arla. It's cold, I'm sure, where you're at, too. Yep, it is a cold morning, okay? So there's our card. We have two mats, three mats, three mats. So I have all of my mats are five and three-eighths, but this one here is the larger one. It is four and one-eighth, and this is the one four and one-eighth goes on the inside of my card, okay? And before I do that, I think I'm gonna stamp it. So, let's go on ahead. I got my measurement paper here, so I'll stamp it this way. And I'm gonna use, for my stamp, I'm gonna use Hope and Peace. I really loved this. I love the, the greetings, I love the fonts in it. It's just really pretty. So this one is gonna be Peace on Earth. To goodwill to all. And the nice thing about it, oops, that's not the one I want. I want Merry Christmas. This is the inside. The nice thing about these is that sometimes those prints don't have to be absolutely perfect. Now Merry Christmas does the way it's written, but the other ones don't. And then I took the Hollies from the Marius Momus stamp set right here. And I'm gonna use those with soft sea foam. Oh good, the soft sea foam ribbon is beautiful and it is it ties wonderfully. If that is something you would use, it ties wonderfully. Now I want you to look. My sea foam needs to be re-inked and I chose not to re-ink it right now because I don't want a harsh ink color. So I'm gonna re-ink it when we're finished and I'll show you how I like to re-ink. But if you notice, we always go to the center of the ink pad. There's plenty of ink on the outside. So what I would recommend is just go to the outside of your ink pad 
to stamp and you'll get a darker image, okay? So I'm gonna go on ahead and I'm just gonna put a holly leaf and I'm gonna do another holly leaf, but I have a different size. So stay to the outside and you'll get the more darker color, okay? And then my favorite little branch is gonna probably disappear, I guess. I love this little branch of greenery. Okay. Didn't stay to the outside on that one. And it was very, very light. Let's put some right up there. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing down here. Start with my holly. Staying to the outside to get the most ink right now. So I started Christmas wrapping yesterday and Doris and I were texting last night. I told her, I'm pretty sure that, okay, Painted Christmas is available and it's only $4.80. It's, that's a good deal for that. So if you're going to do a lot of Christmas cards and you like that paper, grab that paper. Okay. I told Doris yesterday, I was sitting there watching the Chiefs game and I was not a very happy person. And, um... I'm I'm pretty sure my packages look it too. I was not a happy person. <laughs> she still isn't happy. He is right. He is right. Someone She's text him. Off. Someone text him. That's that's pool boy back there if you haven't ever heard of pool boy. Someone text and said, Well, Lola's happy because it ended right. And Jim said, No, she's not happy. She is over here saying things that's not happy. So oh well. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna put this in here, in the middle. And then this will fold. And we're gonna put this one here, and this is now going to be four, and it's just four, not four and an eighth. This is four by five and three eighths. Four by five and three eighths. I really don't wanna to have to go out and run errands here today, but I also know that I need to get them done. And Pool Boy is going to start wrapping gifts with me. He is, he does wrap well. I, I'm very, very lucky. He is such a helper. Except when he gives me grief over my mouth. Okay. All right, switching it over. Probably one of my favorite pieces in there is this soft one, but I just didn't use it. I used it, I can tell you, I know I used it with one card. Um, and it was a garden green one that I did on Facebook. Because I know I was in New Orleans when I used it. Okay, so this one here is three and seven eighths by five and a quarter. And now it will still lay flat. And this one is, I believe... It is two and a half by five and three eighths. And then my DSP is two and three eighths by five and five, five and a fourth. Again, it will be on my my um, my blog. You can print off the measurements there or write them down. Okay. All right. So there's my page that I've done so far, my trifold. All right. So now let's go to the front greeting. And I use the deco dies. I love the deco dies. But I will tell you, I don't use the deco dies for the mats unless I cut them down. And I have done this before on a Facebook Live and showed you the way I could lay my my deco die, deckled die, and still get that edge and make it a smaller one. But I this time I just chose to go with a straight piece of paper. Okay? All right, so this is my deco die, and this is the one that I want to say, peace on earth, goodwill to all. 
And since that's been sitting there, let's ink it up again. And it's one of those, the way that it's written, it doesn't have to be perfectly even and straight because it kind of curves everywhere, okay? Because you look at this, this looks somewhat even, that looks different, but that's the way the stamp is written. If you look at it in the case, see how it goes up? It's the way it's written. So we cover this up. We don't need the memento anymore. We need the holly. Stay to the outside edge. Another one. So when you think of Christmas, do you turn to real red or cherry cobbler? Tell me which one you like better, real red or cherry cobbler. I think I like cherry cobbler the best, but I used a lot of real red this year because their DSP lended itself to the real red. So Doris, you like cherry, you like real red. Anybody else? Tina, what color do you like to use? Jonna says cherry cobbler. Arla? Okay, so I filled that one up. And let's just ink this right now. Let me show you what I do. So I'm gonna come back in here now, since I'm done, completely done with it. Anne uses um, cherry cobbler. Arla uses real red. So see, it's 50-50. All right, I'm going to come back, and I'm going to put my ink in here. And I'm just going to go back and forth this way. And I'm going to turn it, and I'm going to go this way. And hopefully it will get some of those places where I maybe didn't ink earlier. I always try to wipe that off on there so I don't lose a drip. And I'm going to take plastic spoon and I'm just gonna smooth out my plastic spoon and it just kind of helps to move the ink around okay got rid of all of those ink um, those splotches where I went down a line and you don't see the lines anymore and it's kind of working it to the edge I don't do this all the time but when I have time to do it I do take the time to kind of move it around and ink and now it's kind of, it's not so um, light in the middle. And I'm trying to get it out to the outside so it kind of goes out that direction. And all you have to do is throw your spoon away or wipe it off and throw it in your crafting supplies. And there it is. All right, so I'm going to put it on top of the ink pad like so and hope I don't knock it off. Okay, all right, so let's finish the card. So I have this Peace on Earth, Goodwill to Men. I didn't write that in the PDF. I ought to do that. Um, so it was two and three-fourths by four and an eighth. Two and three fourths by four and an eighth. And we're going to take our ribbon, which you said, did someone say the ribbon is still available? Jonna said the DSP. Maybe Doris, did you say the ribbon is still available? Would make beautiful baby cards. I don't know. I don't know if it is or not, but I think it it would make beautiful baby boy or girl baby cards. So I'm going to kind of just do it like a book. And I'm I would rather have too much than not enough. So I'm going to cut my ribbon. And I almost 99.9% .9 of the time Jonna said it's available. Okay. 
I knew she had said that about the paper. So, Johnny, you know it's available, too. Is it full price? Um, anyhow, I normally always tie my ribbons and my bows over here on the left. You'll rarely see it on the right. But I wanted it on the right because of the book looks. And I want to keep my ribbon in and connected to it. So I'm going to actually take a piece of scotch tape. And I'm just going to tape it down. Right where I know that deckled frame is going to cover that up. But that keeps my ribbon there. Okay. All right. And now we're going to take this piece here. And we're only going to put dimensionals on this side. So I've got to make sure I pay attention when I turn it over. So it's going to be here. Okay. So I take those off. Oh, it's $3.20. That's a great deal. If you like that color, and call Bacon. Sorry about that, guys. Hopefully, you're still okay. All right. Our daughter. They were all, one of the little girls has been exposed to influenza A, so they all were feeling like they were getting crudsy. So we're hoping and praying they are not all coming down with it. Oh, I hear her. They're all puny. They're all sick. Oh, well, get it over with before Christmas, right? Okay. So I'm going to take this. Oh, I got ink on it. That's okay. I'll get it off. I'll change that when I get back to the room. I'll make a new one. Okay. So I'm going to do this and tie it. And we're going to finish the card. Okay, and Chris, if you're here, lucky, I remembered to bring this because it does work on these, work the best on this ribbon. 320. I may have to pick up a couple of those. Okay. Okay. So we're going to trim it off. And actually, I didn't waste too much of the ribbon. There's that. I will change this out because I've got ink on it. But I'm going to take these red and adhe green adhesive backed pearls, which everybody said they're not red because the red were hidden under the flap. And they're probably sold out. And I don't normally turn to pearls, but I did on this one. And my holly berries are going to be silver. I'm going to do one up here. Yeah. And we're about done. And just a couple of extra. Yeah. Well, why didn't you stick? Yeah. Oh, because the adhesive's here. So go back and see if you can get the adhesive. Okay, guys. There's my card for the day. And I think it's beautiful. I think it's soft and sweet. And I love the ribbon. And look how it opens. Boom. The ribbon's attached. You can come here and open your card. You could make, um, you could use this for a scripture card if you were reaching out to a friend who is struggling um, and needs some, some scriptures to look through. You could actually put a panel here for a small scripture or one here. You could do a gift card on this side for a pocket and put your gift card under there. There's a lot of things that you can do to this card to make it something that would work for anybody. Okay, be a real pretty graduation card with um, your pocket and maybe a, a little words of advice, say from Dr. Sue, so the places you will go, whatever. Um, one more thing, I'm going to 
call it done. We will not be here next week. Next week, my family will still all be here for Christmas if they're, they're healthy. Um, we will be, Megan and Adam will be heading home, and the girls are staying with Nana and Papa for the week. So we will be doing Nana, Papa did things next week. So there's my cards. Give me a minute. I wanted to show you a card. So here we go. Even the Kansas City Chiefs send cards, guys. Even the Kansas City Chiefs send out cards. And this came from the Kansas City Chiefs season ticket thing. When it comes to this season, there's no such thing as a silent night. Touchdown. I thought this was one of their better cards that they've sent. Although yesterday it was not a very pleasant silent night around me. All right, guys. Merry Christmas. I wish each of you have a wonderful holiday with your loved ones. And that you just remember that it's the day of our Savior's birth. And uh, God's blessings to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. See you later.